Hey everyone, we're just going to make sure that you have Vuforia support included in your Unity software. So right now I have a new project open and that's great. You'll want to have that as well yourself. Go to the top here on the left, you'll see this edit option. Click on edit, scroll on down until you see project settings. Once you're there, you're going to look through that drop down and look for player. Once you're here, click on that and you'll see the inspector on the right side of your screen. A uh, menu will appear, a bunch of options here. Now. Sometimes you'll see this already expanded, but in this list, you're going to look for XR settings. Once you find it, click on that and you should see Vuforia Augmented Reality. Now, Virtual Reality Supported, most likely going to have that. But if you don't have Vuforia Augmented Reality, in this situation, I don't either. I don't have that checkbox there. You're going to go ahead and click on that. And it will open up your browser and start downloading the uh, Unity setup for Vuforia. Now, I've already started the process here, so I'm just going to resume this one. Just a couple seconds left. There we go. Now it's installed. Now, at this point, just go ahead and click on that and start the installation process. Go ahead and click Yes. Welcome to Unity 2017, whichever version it is you have. Hopefully, older, uh, newer than this, I mean. Click on Next. And there it is. You just go on next, install it wherever you'd like. So now, since I have Unity open currently, it's not able to finish the installation. So you can just go ahead and close your instance of Unity. Well, then it will allow it to finish. And uh, there you go. So now you should have Vuforia support in your Unity project. All right, let's uh, get back into Unity and check for ourselves. Going back to the same project that I was working on earlier. And this time I'm going to go over to Edit, Project Settings, Player. And boom, now you'll see that Vuforia Augmented Reality support. Now it has this little checkbox available, which I can just check on. Boom. And uh, if you'd like, you can accept the terms in the browser, read through them, or just click on accept. And now it imports this project folder for me. All right, and you're uh, ready to go.